Hi, so I watched this video by this guy called How to Decalcify Your Pineal Gland. He didn't actually talk about how to decalcify it at all. What he said was basically the reason that we're not having conscious experiences, astral projection, awakenings, is less to do with our pineal gland being calcified and more to do with our attitude, vibrational state, our habits, and how much effort we actually put into it in the mind. But here's why I completely disagree with that. There has to be a balance. You can't just focus on the mind aspect psychologically and then leave out the physical aspect of it. I mean, we're in the physical state right now, so until you can put your hand through a table, you are bound to the physical reactions of this dimension. I mean, if you're putting poisonous things in your body, your physical pineal gland is going to react to that. So to kind of get what I'm saying here, I'm going to compare the pineal gland to a car. So you know all the rules of the road, you want to drive, you think you're ready to drive, you've practiced, you put the key in the car and it doesn't start. And, you know, there's these other cars driving by you and you're thinking, well, hey, I know what to do. So you get out of your car and you open the uh, front of it and there's a bunch of gunk in the engine and the different parts of the car. So your car isn't broken, it's just temporarily disabled because it's full of gunk and that is what happens to the pineal gland. What is very important for you to know about the pineal gland is that it is your hyperdimensional stargate, your spiritual antenna, your third eye. It is your communication link to higher dimensions, your intuition organ. It's like a little free cell phone in your brain, except the stuff you're going to get from it isn't going to be stupid texts. It is one of the most important parts of your nervous system. It's also responsible for producing melatonin and serotonin. Melatonin is for your sleep patterns, and serotonin is what levels out your moods and stops you from being depressed. When your serotonin is low, you are depressed. Another thing your pineal gland does, it naturally produces DMT, which is dimethyltryptamine, and that's a naturally occurring psychedelic, which is what allows you to have vivid dreams and visions. People who just refer to that kind of stuff as simply hallucinations, I think that's a pretty ignorant claim. People who have healthy, active pineal glands, they are like antennas, and they can receive symbols and signs and tap into other people's thoughts. I mean, it also ties into ESP, extrasensory perception, but I'm rambling. I am just going to tell you how to avoid calcification of your pineal gland and how to detox it. One of the most important things is to get fluoride out of your diet. Fluoride is magnetically attracted to the pineal gland. Sodium fluoride, it is not good for your teeth. The lie is that it is good for your teeth. It is actually a toxic byproduct, totally attacks your pineal gland and basically shuts it down. What fluoride does is not only it calcifies your pineal gland, but it collects all the heavy metals in your body. Lead, arsenic, mercury, aluminum, it lowers your IQ. This is a Harvard study that finds fluoride, oh, it lowers your IQ. The truth is fluoride is a poison and adding it to our drinking water is an evolving social experiment started 40 years ago. When it comes to toothpaste, if you do swallow, contact a poison control center. Well, the amount of fluoride that they're talking about is a pea-sized amount of fluoride. That's the same amount of fluoride in eight ounces of water. Fluoride, it is toxic, and you need to know about this. I know it's banned in Europe, but in Canada and the United States, it's still very prevalent. It's in a lot of tap water. It's in your toothpaste. It's in a lot of processed food, junk food. So you want to get rid of fluoride altogether. Get spring water or reverse osmosis and a natural toothpaste. You can get that at a health food store. There's also aluminum and deodorant. Uh, try to get a natural deodorant as well. Try to eat as naturally as you can, organic as much as you can, because conventional fruits and vegetables are often sprayed with sulfuryl fluoride. It's like an attack almost. Um, so if you don't have the money for organic food, try to really scrub your fruits and vegetables before you eat them. And in my perspective, unless you have parents who are totally organic health freaks, all natural, they know about fluoride, chances are your pineal gland is, is pretty gunked up. Try to keep an alkaline diet. Look at the list of acidic foods and alkaline foods. Meat, bread, milk, cheese, sugar, that's all acidic. You might wanna get like a pen and paper, write this down if you're truly interested. Avoid calcium supplements. Um, they are actually a leading cause of calcification of the pineal gland. You can get calcium from leafy green vegetables. Avoid calcium phosphate, uh, carbonate, or a dicalcium phosphate. These are found in a lot of processed foods. Um, chlorine, bromide. Avoid mercury. Get rid of your mercury tooth fillings. 
another thing, vaccinations. I don't want to get into a whole vaccine debate, but if there's a local flu shot, uh, unless you're like 95 years old and you're frail, or uh, I don't get the flu shot, I mean, it's look up what's in a vaccine, okay? Formaldehyde, aluminum, mercury, all that bad stuff, just bad stuff for you. Someone had a whole page about blue ice skate fish oil. He said it was one of the most powerful fluoride detoxing agents for him. And go to cola, which is a herb. Uh, there's a lot of roots and herbs that are apparently good for stimulating and detoxing the pineal gland. Vitamin C, so fruits, um, lemons. Lemons are great for alkalizing and getting fluoride out. Also ginger, if you want to mix lemon and ginger and make a tea. So I wrote down some stuff. EDTA removes heavy metals and decalcifies glands. Borax or boron is an antidote to fluoride. Sodium thiosulfate, it's an antidote to chlorine, cyanide, arsenic, and some heavy metals. Iodine and magnesium are good, and chlorella and spirulina. But they have to be organic and you have to be getting them from good sources. Um, these have extreme benefits, I just research them. I highly recommend chlorella and spirulina. Raw apple cider vinegar. There's also MSM and vitamin D3, A, and vitamin K2 are apparently really important. And raw organic cocoa, like actual chocolate, it doesn't taste good, but it's really good for the pineal gland. It stimulates it and nourishes it because of the high antioxidants in it. And then there's chance and meditation, which is key. So I know that was probably an information overload, especially if you weren't writing things down. So I'm not asking you to go crazy and, you know, try to buy everything I said and do everything I said, but do what you can. I mean, do your own research and make an effort because I can tell you it'll be worth it. The main things though, try not to consume fluoride, try not to consume junk food, no harsh chemicals, do what you can.